When I was a little girl, my mom taught me to play a C chord, an F chord, and a G seventh in my left hand. That left my right hand free to pick out any song I could think of. And the first song I remember playing is Silent Night. That was before I got any piano lessons. So I was playing all by ear. And we finally got on a wait list for a great piano teacher uh, in the next town over. And um, finally she had an opening, but the only opening was on a Friday evening around seven o'clock. Well, nobody wanted that slot, so we got it. So my sister and I, every Friday night, uh, during the school year, because she took, my teacher took off during the summer. So during the school year, for four years, we went every Friday night, like clockwork, to take piano lessons from this wonderful teacher. Her name was Mrs. Frierson, and she was phenomenal. Um, I remember, of course, we were the last ones, I suppose, of her week, and I remember her taking my little chubby hands and putting them, I, she would sigh, I mean, she, she wouldn't fuss at me or anything, but she might go like, because you knew she was tired, so she'd go, and she'd take my hands and she'd put them where they're supposed to be if I couldn't figure out where they went, which is often, and she taught us to play. Now, Daddy was a guitar player, and he, he told my teacher, that he wanted me to learn how to play for church and he wanted me to learn how to play in sharps because he liked to play in sharps on the guitar and he noticed that a lot of the pianists when they came to sharp keys would transpose them into flat keys so he wanted me to be able to do play sharps and flats so um, we really did thrive under the, her teaching um, but after four years, mom and dad realized they could not afford something had happened. I don't know what. They couldn't afford to keep us in lessons. And so we had to quit. And I was devastated. I don't think my sister was devastated. <laughs> uh, but I was. Uh, because I had realized this is what I want to do. And so... We were people of faith, had grown up in the church, were faithful to church, and I began to pray. And I asked the Lord, Lord, this is what I want to do. And I just cried because I wasn't going to get piano lessons anymore. Well, during the course of that time, we had had a music camp, our church camp, did a music camp, invited Vidette Polk to come teach us. and. So, and then I had band at school, so everything I did reinforced that music education I was getting. And so, after I had prayed and asked the Lord to help me, I opened up some of those convention-style books that we had at home, uh, where the parts, you know, are moving and they go all over the place. And I would go from one end of that book to the other end, just day after day after day after day. I would just keep playing. And working because it meant so much to me and my ability to play grew exponentially because I was forcing myself to sight read and to create and to see how the time signatures worked and playing in the different keys and and to be honest that even the words of the songs helped me figure out the the timing often but uh and ever since then, uh, I have continued to learn and continued to share. I didn't, I didn't set out to be a piano teacher, but people would say, do you teach? And I didn't, but I kind of couldn't get away from it. So wherever I went, whatever I did, people always asked me, do you teach? And so I did. And so as I began to teach uh, over the years, I began filling in the gaps some other gaps that have been in my education. 
went to Nashville to the Stamps Baxter School of Music, sat in those theory classes, filled in more gaps. And so over the years, the Lord has been very faithful to help me learn um, from so many people. But the biggest, the biggest thing that happened was when I cried out to God and I said, Lord, I want to do this. And I began putting that work in and he began blessing that work. So I have my own uh, piano course that I've created. It's not fancy, um, but it takes in some of the things I've learned over the years that may be presented in a different way than other people might present it. And it's mostly for, I would say, intermediate students who want to learn to improvise. They want to learn, um, maybe they don't play by ear, and they want to learn how to start beginning that process. Um, this is for people who already know key signatures pretty well. I would be happy to help fill in some of those gaps, but if you're interested in learning, uh, I take the song Amazing Grace and I go through it and we add to it and we analyze it and we learn how to use both a lead sheet and a hymnal page and how to decipher that and turn it into something beautiful. So anyway, if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, subscribe to my channel and uh, email me and uh, I will be happy to get with you and uh, let you know a little more about this course. It's still new to me. And so uh, if you're interested, let me know.